when the narcissist gets their karma. When the narcissist brings misery and misfortune upon themselves, resulting from their actions. Towards the end of the relationship, the narcissist showed no consideration for you. They showed no care or concern. It was all about them. It was all about what they could get from you. They scapegoated you. They used you as their emotional punching bag. They took out all of their emotions on you. They got angry at you. Even though you may not have done anything wrong. They had you running on this endless hamster wheel trying to please them. Trying to make them happy. Trying to make things right. But nothing was ever enough for them. They could never be satisfied. They were never grateful for anything you did for them. They never appreciated you. They always criticised everything you did for them or acted like it wasn't enough. They ran you into the ground and showed no consideration for you. Because it was all about them. It was all about what they could get from you. Regardless of how it affected you. By the end of it you felt defeated. You felt demoralised and overcome by adversity. You ended up in this difficult and unpleasant situation. While the narcissist just seemed to ride off into the sunset. Many people who go through these situations may begin to lose faith in whatever they once believed in. They may question how God could allow this to happen to them. And they may wonder why did the narcissist get their karma? How could they just ride off into the sunset after everything they did to you? How could you be left behind with nothing after everything you invested in them? The truth is, this is all a part of your experience in life. You didn't come here to live in a perfect world with sunshine and roses. There are unpleasant things to deal with too. Things that will help you to learn more about the nature of other people. Things that will help you to learn more about yourself. And there is nothing more valuable than having this awareness. You could have all of the money and success in the world. But what is it worth if you have no awareness of anything? You had to experience these things so that you could raise your level of consciousness. So that you could, you could become more aware. So don't think that God isn't on your side. God would never put you through something that he knows you cannot deal with. You have everything you need to come out of this stronger and more aware. You may not see it right now, but one day you will feel grateful for this experience. Because it has woken you up to the truth. Now you know the true nature of people. You know what some people are capable of. 
And now you've learned more about yourself. The narcissist is already getting their karma. How we treat people is a direct reflection of how we feel about ourselves. Their behaviours should reveal to you how they really feel. They will act like they're doing great. They will act like they're so much happier without you. But just look at everything they did to you. Look at how they left you. Look at how they had no consideration for you. Those are not the behaviours of someone who is happy. Only someone who hates themselves would engage in those behaviours. And when they leave you, nothing changes. They may post pictures on social media and act like they're so much happier with someone else. But that's still a part of the illusion. Remember how happy they pretended to be when they were with you. It's all an act. And it's only a matter of time until they reveal what they really are. They know that no one wants to be around a miserable, angry person. So they hide it. They pretend like they're happy. Because if you look back, you will realize that's what drew you in. That's what attracted you to them. You wanted to be around that fun, happy person. Until you realize that it was all a lie. And now they're just doing the same thing with someone else. They're fooling them and they're fooling you. They are getting their karma. Every day is hell for the narcissist. That's why they always need a source of supply. They can't be alone. They always need something to distract themselves from reality. They always have to project their shame onto someone else. They always need someone to be their emotional tampon because they're miserable inside and they cannot cope with those feelings. When the narcissist leaves you, they think they're getting away with everything. They think they've won something. But that is actually just another part of their karma. Because by leaving you without taking accountability, they never grow or develop. They never learn from their faults and mistakes. And they stay the same for the rest of their lives. They never progress. It doesn't help them in any way. It only causes more problems for them down the line. Because the only way to progress in life is by taking accountability. It's only then that you are able to make the changes that you need to progress to become better. But they will never make the changes that they need to progress Because they're always playing the victim. 
it's always someone else's fault. And that is why they stay stuck. That is why they stay miserable and dissatisfied for the rest of their lives. Their entire life is just a distraction from reality. They never really live in. They find people, drugs, alcohol, whatever will help them to escape from life. But they are not happy. They are receiving their karma. They are dealing with the consequences of their actions. And that is why they are acting this way towards you. It's just another distraction from their miserable lives. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.